What's up everyone? Today we're going to be going over leak code 338, count bits. The input is going to be a number and the output is going to be an array <clears throat> of size, that number plus one, because that array is going to be filled with the number of bits in each of those numbers which lead up to the given one. So zero is going to have no set bits, one is going to have one set bit, two is going to have one set bit, three is going to have two set bits, four is going to have one set bit, five is going to have two set bits. Now the trick to this problem and the way that the solution uses it, the solution comes from the leak code tab, uh, is every power of two is going to have one set bit. And that's what this problem is going to be based upon. Now it's pretty easy to do it uh, by individually counting each one, but by using dynamic programming principle, the runtime increases and we learn something new. I'm going to write the code and then I'm going to pick a slightly bigger number so we see exactly how the array is getting filled. Now first, what we have to do is int i is equal to 0 and int b is equal to 1. It's equal to 1 because 2 power 0 is equal to 1. And like I mentioned, this problem is based on 2 power 1 because every time we had 2 power, we are going to have one set bit. So this is one set bit, one set bit, one set bit. And then when we get to eight, that would be another one. So we have to initialize the DP array to be num plus one. And we're gonna do while uh, B, B is gonna be the two power, right? We do not want it to go more than num. And we want, for example, if <clears throat> b is going to be 2 power 2, which is 4, we're going to loop one time before we hit the limit at 5. That's why we write this. Then we have to check this conditional. While i is less than b and i plus b is less than or equal to num, because i is going to be the type of pointer which is going to increment every single time. Uh, just follow me, along on, follow me along on this one dp of i plus b is going to be set to dp of i plus 1. And then i is going to be incremented every time. For example, dp of, let's say, of 6, right? dp of 6 is going to be dp of 5 plus 1. dp of 6 is going to be dp of i plus 1. And uh, dp of four, dp of, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, and dp of zero, one, two, three, okay, dp of three, zero, one, two, three is going to be dp of two plus one. And that's how we increment this i pointer. So once we're done with this inner for loop, what we do is we set i, the pointer, to 0, and we increment, we multiply b uh, by, not multiply, we raise it, we raise it. So we shift it left, we shift it to the left. Because that's how we're going to do 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 4, uh, yeah, like four, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, etc. Now, just look at this code, and then I'm going to write the bigger one. Let me write a bigger array. Let's say the input was 11. Um, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this is going to be zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And that's what we want to return. So first, i is going to be zero, b is going to be one. And this is obviously going to be zero. Now, while 1 is less than or equal to 11, we're going to do this. i is 0. Uh, uh, 0 is less than 1. 
and 0 plus 1 is less than 11. Now dp of i plus b, which is 1, this is going to be 0 and this is 1, is going to be set to dp of 0 plus 1. So this is going to get from its previous 1. Now i is incremented to 1. Is 1 less than 1? No, it's not. So we exit this while loop. i is set to 0 again, and b is increased by a power of 2. Now, now, it, now we have i is equal to 0, b is 2 power, is, uh, two power 1. b is less than or equal to 11, because b right now is 2. 0 is less than 2, and 0 plus 2 is going to be less than that. Now, dp of 0 plus 2 now, zp of 0 plus 2 is going to be based on dp of 0 plus 1. So 2 is going to get it from here. It's going to be 1. Now, i is incremented again. i is now 1. Is 1 less than 2? Yes. Is 1 plus 2 less than that one? Yes. So dp of 1 plus 2, 3, is going to be the previous one, dp of 1, dp of 3 is going to be 1 plus 1. So he's going to get it from here, gets added. Now we increment i again. Is 2 less than 2? No. So we get out of this inner while loop. i is equal to 0, and b is uh, powered again by 2. Now when b is powered again by 2, we know that this is going to be 1. 0 is less than f 4. So i is going to be 0, and b is going to be 4. Uh, 0 plus 4 is 4, is less than 11. Uh, dp of 4 is going to be dp of 0 plus 1. dp of 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, um, No, this is 2. He's, th yeah, this is going to be 2. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's going to get, he's going to, 4 is going to get it from here. And then i increment it again. i is going to be 1. i is less than 4. And 1 plus, f 1 plus 4 is 5. So 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is going to get it from z 1, this guy, plus 1. Right? Let's think about it. It's going to be 4 plus another one. Now 6 is going to be 2. i is now incremented. 2 plus 4 is 6. Two, dp of 6 is going to come from dp of 2. dp of 6 is going to come from dp of 2 plus 1. There's going to be 2. Now i is incremented again. i is going to be 3. dp of 7 is going to come from dp of 3 plus 1. So 3. Yes. Now, I, now 3 is less than 3, but 4 is, when in, we increment i, 4 is not less than 4, so we exit out of this. i is at the 0 again. b is powered up again to 8. Now dp of 8, so 0 plus 8, is going to come from dp of 0 and 1. Now i is incremented. dp of 9 is going to come from dp of 1 plus 1. dp of 10 is going to come from dp of 2 plus 1, because 8 and 2. dp of 11 is going to come from dp of 3 from uh, 2, and then add 1, 3. So that's going to be the resulting solution. We just return dp. And this is how we solve leak code 338. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe. And leave your comments below. It'll motivate me to make some more and improve my videos. Thank you.